Hello there friends and welcome back to my channel. It is Amy here and today we're going to make a one page scrapbook page and it's going to feature these two photos. So here where I live in Charleston, South Carolina, today is the first day of school and this little girl uh, started preschool way back in 2005 and here she is today as a third grade teacher. So this is her second year teaching school. Last year was her first year and she was crowned Rookie Teacher of the Year. So I'm very proud of her. And uh, she left bright and early this morning to embark on her second year of teaching. So I thought, why not scrapbook these two photos together? I have this photo scrapbooked in her school days album with all her preschool photos, but I thought it would be fun to combine the two onto one page. So the other um, products that I am going to use is I pulled out the Smarty Pants Paper Collection. This was, um, it debuted in 2021, uh, so two years ago, and I love it. It's a school theme, so you can see these are the pattern papers. Take a look at the zip strips. So we've got the airplanes with the alphabet, we've got the cork board with the glasses, the word search with the lightning bolts and the uh, composition notebook with the fun rainbow striped zip strips. And then if we turn them over, we've got these patterns. So we've got kind of like a science mo uh, motif. We've got new shoes with the converse and the vans. We got this really fun star and then who remembers learning how to write on paper like this so these papers could they're very versatile i mean you could use them for other things other than school uh, i still have a stash so i thought that this collection went really well with the colors in my photos and um, the theme obviously there was a sticker sheet that went with this the sticker sheets no longer available but the smarty pants paper pack is available so i will be sure to put that link in the description the other product that i thought would be fun to use is the backpack thin cut so here is the thin cut and it's big and i have demonstrated this in the past this unfortunately is on the retired items list so if this is something that you think you might like to have uh, now is a good time to pick it up because once they are out of stock they won't be restocked it's great to put gift cards in it's great to use as embellishments on a scrapbook page, which is what we are going to do. And it's also great to stick on a card in general. So then I did pull some other stamp sets. I'm not sure if I will use them or not, but I've got the setting the scene, which I've been using quite a bit. This is in our current July, August idea book that we'll be retiring at the end of this month. Um, I got the A plus teacher. This one is also retiring at the end of this month and it's, I love that hand, but the A plus teacher, that might be a fun one to use on the page. It takes a big heart to shape little minds. I love that. So we'll see. Um, and then I did pull, these are very old. My months of the year, we have the September one. I love this alphabet and back to school. And then I pulled the August one because I'm, I don't know, I might wanna use August for the date. And then um, these months of the year, I don't believe are still available. They are quite old, but we'll see. I'm not quite sure where we're gonna go with this, but let me clear my desk and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is assemble our backpack. So I did run my dies 
through the um, my die cutting machine and it's great because you can see that the backpack itself comes with that detailed stitching which i love so much and there is a score line so we're going to score that up and then with my bone folder i will just give it a crisp fold and then this little tab folds down and it will slide right into that flap and then that way you can put some journaling in here or you can add some more photos and then this little die piece right here is for the the hook so i'm gonna just use my adhesive and we will add this right to the center like that and then i used this die and this die and then these two side dies and these are going to go right here and this is like this so it's kind of like the pocket and then these two pieces will go on the side so these are the sides kind of like where your water bottles will go so we'll adhere this. Now I did switch out the blue in the kit, the Smarty Pants kit. They use Capri, but I use Bluebird because it matched my daughter's dress better. Now I'm just gonna take some of my 3D foam tape and add a little bit of dimension to this piece. You could do some sponging, uh, get your blending tool out, and um, lemonade ink if you want it to add a little bit of texture and dimension to these pieces. I'm just gonna keep it simple and just add dimension with the foam tape. And then for these two, I'm just gonna add some adhesive to the side. You know, the first day of school, it's always so fun when you go on social media because you're seeing all the first day of school pictures. And I don't know, up until last year, I felt a little uh, left out when all my kids were done with school. Luckily, they sent me pictures, you know, when they were away at college. But now I don't feel so left out because I have teachers in the family. So my son actually started last week. He is a music teacher, a K through eighth grade music teacher. God bless him. Um, and he started last week. And Molly starts today as a third grade teacher. I'm thinking that this is a little uneven. I should have my tea ruler. I always forget to bring that over when I am doing my lives. Okay, so I like that. Now this die right here, you can cut it and put it right here and then you could put a name there or you know any kind of decorative piece. I can show you here in the catalog how they, they did that. I was thinking that maybe I might, I brought in some of my embellishments, my dots. I have some stars, I have arrows, but I was thinking, or I could cut that piece and do Miss McGrew. Um, I could maybe add some stars to the backpack. I don't know, I'm just thinking off the top of my head right now. Let's see what this will look like. Punch out this little star. That might be kind of fun. Uh, you know, doing groups of three. Or the other thing I could do is uh, let's stick with the blue, and I could do something like like this. Let's see. And just do. Move those out of the way and then just do a 
set right across. Do I have another star like that? If I don't, then I think our decision will, will be made. I don't think I do. Another thing I could do is go like this. That might be kind of fun. I wasn't going to put that plate, but we might need to do something just to jazz that up a little bit. I don't know. We'll, we'll, I'll sit on that. Uh, but what we'll do now is start building our page. So I did pull in one of our uh, Make It From The Heart idea books. And I'm gonna go with this layout right here. So this was my inspiration. I am going to change it a little bit, but this was where I started with um, the design of this. And I liked it because it showcased two four by six photos, which is what I have. So let me bring in my Versa mat and I'll bring in my white daisy cardstock for my base. Now I did already pre-cut my paper just to save time. And I'll just dry fit this for right now and then I can adhere it off camera. So we've got this pink pattern with the stars uh, my daughter's room is pinks and blues and greens and yellows, pastel-y colors. Uh, so the green is more like a mint green rather than avocado, but I think this will still work. The pink and the blue is very much like this zip strip. So I thought this zip strip could go right here following that sketch. I guess I could bring the sketch over here so we can see it. At least I can see it. So we'll put that there. And then for my um, photo mats, I'm using that pink, it might even be peach. Let me look at the zip strip to see if it's, it is peach, it's not pink, so this is peach, but that goes perfect. So these are gonna go kinda like this. And then for the other pieces that are listed in the instructions, I took this graph paper, and so this one is gonna go like this. So I'm using the graph paper for this green. And then the avocado will be that peach color. So that's going to stick in here like that. The other thing is I wonder if I want Yeah, I am using the light side. So I'm going to put this on the light side. Because it kind of looks like it's on the light side in that zip strip. So kind of go like this. This needs to be straight. And this is exactly how I play um, when I'm using a sketch. So then um, we've got this piece will go down here. I love that composition. And And we'll put this here like this. And this is gonna go like this. So it covers up that green and it is more straight. And then this piece is gonna go right here like that. Um, I think it's gonna to go under. I think I like it. I think I like it like this. So it'll go like 
like that. Okay, so I'm liking this right now. And then my logic was we would bring the backpack for down here. And then we'll decide what I'm gonna do with these stars. But I'm thinking that could go right there and that would take up all of that space. And then um, we've got this down here. Now we don't, like I said, have the sticker sheet available anymore, but you can cut out icons from the paper. So there's the globe and the flash cards. And I did like teachers gotta teach. So I did go ahead and cut that out and we might be able to put that over here. I don't know, or we can maybe do the A plus sticker, the A plus teacher. Maybe I can cut that in a circle, get my circle die cut. Um, but then for down here, I did go ahead and cut best teacher ever. So here's my best teacher ever. And then I cut a piece of that bluebird cardstock to just mat that. So that could go right here like this. So this is kind of looking kind of cute and I like how this ha brings that peach in a little bit more. But then we do need something for up here. So that could be where we possibly, I could do August. So I could stamp August right here. Or I could do it up here stamp it right there like that and then get out some numbers and put the date today is the 21st or I could just do August and then in the journaling I could put the date or I could do August 2023 or we could do the back to school. Let's try that. That might be kind of fun. Let's see. Oh, I think I'm liking that. Back to school. I think I like that a lot. And then I could um, I don't know about this. I think maybe this Maybe this has to go in a little bit more. There we go. I like that better. That looks more like the, the sample here. And it looks like they use glitter. I don't know, maybe I could get some glitter cardstock, maybe the, the melon glitter paper to add some sparkle. Maybe I'll do that. Um, and then I could add some of the dots to sprinkle around and maybe bring the pink color out. You know, I have pink in here. I have peach. Pink might be in my other container. I'll look. Or I could do stars to bring because they're all stars. Maybe I'll do stars. All right, so I think this is good. I wasn't sure if I was gonna stencil. I don't think I'm gonna stencil. I'm gonna go ahead and adhere all of this and then we'll work on what we're gonna do here and we'll do our stamping. So I will be right back. All right, I am back. I've got everything adhered except for this piece and I pulled out some of my pink arrows from the pink acrylic shapes. I did go ahead and stamp the A plus teacher from this stamp set. Um, I did get a little bit of ink here, but I thought I could tuck it in here like this. 
but I did not really like that because we have teacher here and we have teacher down here. So what I did is I cut another circle from my circle thin cuts. And I'm thinking I'm gonna put this down a little bit. And then I got my, the image that I cut from the pattern paper and I thought I could put that here so it's kind of sitting on that photo mat. And then this is from the sticker sheet. I took the anti-static pouch and got rid of the stickiness. And I thought maybe I could put that right here like this. And then this circle kind of just grounds those. So I thought that that kind of works yeah i like that and then i did go ahead and stamped the back to school image from the september months of the year and i do apologize that that is no longer available but i made a little goof and i got some ink right here. I'm not sure if you can see that. So I thought that this arrow, I could strategically place that right there and hide that little boo-boo um, and then added the other pink arrows there to um, add some more pink. And then since I'm going with the pink arrows, I thought we would do the pink stars on the backpack. I did go ahead and cut that uh, nameplate for the backpack. So let's adhere these acrylic shapes. And I'm really liking the way this is coming together. We're using stamped images, we're using thin cuts, we're cut out things from pattern paper, and um, we're using thin cut. So we're using all the things, lots of layering, um, lots of scraps. Uh, and it's just kind of fun to add a variety of different mediums. And I don't think it's looking too busy. I was afraid it was getting a little bit busy, but I'm liking how it's working. I really don't need a whole lot of journaling. I want to put the date down and I might just do that with a journaling pen. And then on the inside of the backpack, I can add some more journaling, uh, just saying that this is Molly's um, second year teaching third grade. Uh, and give the name of the school and um, and and that type of thing. Um, I'm thinking here as I'm doing this, do I want to um, put that that was 2005 and this picture is 2023. That might be kind of fun to do. I wasn't sure with this embellishment up here because um, um, I have the title here and I didn't know if this was too top heavy, but you know what? We're gonna go with it. There's no right or wrong way to do it. Now I did, I did get out my dots and I didn't know if I wanted to add some stars, sprinkle some stars in, maybe not pink now because we have the pink arrows. We could do yellow or maybe we'll do green. And then I thought I could do sparkles or I could do gold, but maybe I could just sprinkle some green to kind of pull in the green from the zip strip. Let me get my anti-static pouch, I mean my piercing tool, and let's just see, we're going to go for it. Um, the other thing I thought I could do is color in with um, peach the 
the back too? Or do I want to leave that black and white? I don't know if I should do something over here, but um, I don't know if I have another pocket. I oh, I do. So maybe I'll do, although I don't know if I want to do green down here. I don't know. Should we do some more over here? What do you think? Maybe. If I'm going to ruin this, oh, we're going for it. I don't know. I can't decide. Let's put another green one right here, like that. And then maybe we'll do a cluster down here. So we'll bring our eye down here. I think I'm gonna stick with green, but maybe we won't use as many. We'll just do three. There. I think I am liking this. Um, I think maybe I'll do Miss McGrew. We can write Miss McGrew. Let me get a journaling pen and I'll use my blue. So we'll go. Miss. Miss McGrew. I like that, and then maybe I'll just put August 21st, 2023 here. August 21st, 20. 23 and then I could hmm. I'm not quite sure you know what I was just thinking I could even stamp it right on the photo the date but that might get lost but what if I did August 2025 there. I think I'm actually going to look up the date that she started preschool and put the actual date there. Um, so I'm gonna wait on that. But other than that, I think this is pretty good. It's, it's, it's fun. Um, it's a busier page than I'm used to, but I like it. We used thin cuts, we used stamped images, we used stickers, we cut out images from patterned paper. And we use lots of bits and pieces of paper and acrylic shapes and dots. So there you have it. My first day of school layout or scrapbook page for my little girl who's now not so little. If you enjoyed this video and could give me a thumbs up if you have not already subscribed i would love for you to subscribe to my channel like and share it um, hit that notification button so that you don't miss another video it just helps youtube to know that you enjoy these videos and you're helping me to grow my channel and i look forward to catching you on the next video Bye bye